Okay, we just got done with our safety briefing. We had some breakfast. We're waiting for one more member of the crew. We're all part of the crew to come aboard. He's getting on, uh, coming from the ferry right now. So then we're gonna have some lunch and we're gonna depart for the first time. So yes. we're gonna say, do some sailing today. So last night was a success. Wasn't too bad. We did take some medicine to knock us out, but we got a pretty good night's sleep. Yes, we did. So we're excited. We're gonna set sail today. Supposedly it's gonna be probably some of the roughest waters. We're gonna see the most exciting waters. Um, so we're heading off and we're gonna finally hit the seas. So Audrey has a weird fascination with pirates. Yes, if you've read my autobiography, you'll know that I call myself a fur trapper or a pirate by trade. So today I learn if I can really put my money where my mouth is and sail the open seas. We just went to the grocery store and sailing could be a little sophisticated. So I didn't want, I told Harry, I'm like, so you had to buy the most ghetto bag of chips in the entire supermarket? So I was a little embarrassed because they look a little ghetto. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Okay, we just arrived in Foligandros. This is a very charming, very little island out here in the Greek islands. And we're gonna go for dinner and do some sightseeing really quick. We're boarding this old bus. You can see it right now. This old Mercedes bus. It's gonna take us up to the local village, Chora, or as they call it, Chora. We made it to Chora by bus, we did not walk. And look, look at these views, absolutely amazing. There's a church about, I don't know, maybe 100 meters up. We're gonna go check it out. Um, it's a short walk. And Let's talk about this flat water we see here. Yeah, this wasn't like this earlier. We earned our sea lakes today. We sure did. So beyond this little gate lies this amazing coastline. And Harry and I were just talking about how we believe people probably hike down here and swim in this little secluded bay, this little secluded beach. Check out this water. It's beautiful. Behind us is a cemetery, and if you know us, we love cemeteries, we're gonna go check it out. God bless Sofia Dorothea Di Felipe Diaz Mende. These tombs are so beautifully done with like the pictures of the people that have passed. I like, they seem like they always picture like, get the pic the best picture that captures like the essence of who they are. So it's kind of always insightful when you walk around these local cemeteries. It gives you some ideas for your own grave. Shelter me, oh God, I just took a badass photo.
Okay, so far we're kind of really digging this whole idea of sailing and visiting these islands. It's kind of like a cruise ship, but without all of the inconvenience of all the people and being trapped to somebody else's schedule. Don't you think? I do. Like the beauty of this is that you're coming to these islands, there's just a sprinkle, if that, of people, of other tourists, and you're just exploring all these places that you typically would never be able to so easily go to. So it's our second day though. And we're already digging this sailing adventure. It's gonna be a very nice 14 days, let's put it that way. We stumbled across this little like hotel and we're like, what's over this wall? And we walked out here to this beautiful patio and like, check out this. The view just is a 180 panoramic view of this beautiful, beautiful coast. I mean, breathtaking. I think we want to live here. Do you want to live here forever? It's beautiful. This, I, this might be one of the highlights of our of our trip here, I think. Maybe. The views Day here. two. Opa. I know you're sleeping, but it's time you wake up for the night camp. Today was a, a little rough day of sailing. Maybe about three hours of some high winds. Unfortunately, tomorrow the winds continue and it's five hours of rough sailing. Five to six hours. R seas could get a little rough, we're told. Mm -hmm. But we're prepared. But after tomorrow, it's going to be smooth, smooth sailing. sailing. <laughs> so we have to get a little shut-eye. Big day tomorrow. We're going over to a nearby island. Which one? She doesn't know. Stay tuned for day three to find out which island we visit. Mm -hmm.